Okay, I've got a line drawing of a piece of hardware that I need to make. Um, so I'm just going to turn it to isometric view uh, and get started. Um, I believe this is quarter inch. I'm just going to fill up these corners so that I can grab dimension from them. So I'm just going to start by making this part uh, 0.25 and then I'm going to offset that just over here by orthogonal, um, say two. Um, so for these uh, screw holes or whatever, I'm just going to make a cylinder. Um, I'm going to make them diameter one eighth, um, and then just up. I'll copy that from there to there, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cone um, again, the size of this, and then go down. I think an eighth, and move that up to the top, and it's a quarter. Was how big that original plate was. Uh, I should have made just one, copied it together, and then just use that same tool on. This. So now I'm just going to move these back the two inches that I offset that. I'm going to use a boolean solid subtraction. I'm going to take my block and then I'm going to remove those two lane to give my countersunk holes. So let's just look at it conceptually. Yeah, so you got your countersunk holes. Um, set this back to your Southwest isometric. And I believe this, this radius is, it's probably like 16th or something, but I'm not gonna make that radius um, until I get all the, everything together. Um, because it's easier to add radiuses um, after instead of having to try to rebuild them. So uh, I know that this is, how long is this? Uh, three quarters of an inch, same three quarters of an inch. So what I'll do is I will make a cylinder. Um, I'm gonna make two. So I'm gonna make one uh, three quarters of an inch. Um, and then I'll move it over out of my way and I'll make my second one just following the lines of uh, 0.75 of the drawing. Did I move that two inches? Uh, let me just move this back from center. You can leave conceptual on or, or I just prefer to work in uh, wireframe, but you know, I'm very used to working in wireframes, so it's I, I can easily see the parts, but you know, I mean, you can use X-ray or you know, it's, there's lots of different ways to do it. So you know, you can get familiar with how the shape looks. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it as wireframe. So then I'm gonna duplicate this over. Uh, and I'm going to move this up by two. Uh, should have been up by three quarters. I'll just move it straight up. I have ortho on, so everything's staying in line. Again, I'm going to use a Boolean solid subtraction. I'm going to take the outer shape. I'm going to remove the inner one. So this gives me my second one, second part that, re that receives the pin. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to solid union. I'm going to union those together. I'm going to rotate 3D uh, this on the Y. So enter Y. I'm going to pick a space like the center at 90 degrees. I'm just going to rotate it up 90 degrees. Same again with this. Rotate 3D on the Y. Um, 90. Okay, so yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this over. 0.75. I'm going to move this 
from center of that hole to the center of there. So now both of those are aligned. Um, and then I believe, let's just grab a dimension, center to the bottom of the plate, 0.3246. That's, uh, that's what I'm going to use, 3246. So then I'm going to move both of these over from center to the bottom there. And then I'm going to move pre uh, up, 0.3246. That gives me my, did I do that wrong? Let's see, did I get the wrong dimension there? No, three, two, false, six. Uh, it's flat on the, looks like it's sticking out of the bottom of it. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I am going to want that be removed out of there. I'm going to make a box. I'm going to fill up the bottom here. I'm going to make two copies of this. Um, one, and I'm going to move the other one over 0.75. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a solid subtraction. This part, I'm going to remove that bottom, flattens out the bottom. I'm going to repeat that on this outer part and flattens out the bottom. Now, what I also want to do is I want to copy this pin and that, because I'm just going to use those. Uh, I'm going to offset them by two. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use it as tooling. So, because I need both parts to make the center of this hollow, so I'm going to do solid subtraction, and then I'm going to select my tool bodies, which is both sets of pins, right? So I'll do that. And then what it's done is it's removed the whole thing. So I can copy this outer pin over by two. And then what I can do is I can union and I can pick this component, that component. And now I have my one tool. And then what I can do is I can copy this over by I wonder if I should cut it. Now let's just cut, move it over by two, uh, and then we'll boolean join them together. Let me just remove this tooling here. Now let's offset this back by, let's say, two inches. Okay, so let me go back to conceptual. All right, so we have our two parts. We know that they work because we made them together. Um, we'll fill it radius, let's say 1 16th, and let's see how this looks. So we'll round over the end. Say, yep, so that looks good. Uh, let's also fill it the edges. I believe that they're filleted on the edges. So I'm grabbing all four edges and return, and I'll do that same on this part. Um, and then what we'll do is, you know, I like to, you know, radius all the edges be when I'm drawing a model because the reality is nothing is ever perfectly square, but um, trying to place this in our AutoCAD drawing, because I will be using it um, on the back of a mirror, um, and, uh, you know, I want to be able to grab a, a, a sharp edge. So for, you know, for the model I'm going to use in production, I'm going to leave edges on it that I can grab. But for now, I'm going to fill it radius uh, 1 32nd. And what I'll do is I'll grab that outside edge, that outside edge. And what I'll work my way around the top. And do the same on this. So I, you can cross select, I believe. Um, but I'm just going to pick the ones I want and do the same to this component. You know, and it kind of gives us a little more realistic looking part. You know, and it's doesn't it's not really taking too much time to, you know, make it look nice. So again, um, I can copy this. Actually, let's 
Let's copy both parts uh, over by say five and move by two. So there we go. There's our, you know, fairly simple, straightforward parts. And if I go to the top and I flat shot it, um, I don't want to show hidden lines. Create. I'll just click a point here to insert. Um, and I just am entering. I don't want to change any of the values, but you know, when you look at it, it's pretty close to you know the parts that we already had. Um, you can flat shot it at all the different angles to get your different views and stuff. But yeah, there you go. Um, just how to make a 3D object from just some simple line art.